Hey guys, it's me, Daisy Barajas again. Um, I'm back to show you guys how to add a picture onto a epoxy pen. Some of you guys had asked for me to do a tutorial on this. So here I am. I'm going to show you guys how to add a picture into your wrap through Cricut Workspace. So if you want to learn, keep watching. First, you're going to go to upload and you're going to hit the upload and then you're going to do upload image. I already have my image on here, but I'm going to show you guys how I did it. You're going to go to browse and you're going to look for your image. Once you select your image, it's going to import. And I'm going to go to complex. Select complex. And you're going to be able to see your image. I'm going to grab an eraser and I'm going to start erasing the background. It does not have to be perfect. Since this image is going to shrink to small image on the pen, you're not going to be able to see um, too much of the detail so you don't have to be perfect just delete all the background that you're not gonna need if you if you want your background on there that's fine I didn't want it because I already had an idea of what I'm gonna do with the image and you're gonna select the print and cut continue My computer's a little bit slow. So you're gonna select your image. And for this pen, I was asked to put a cherry blossom background on the pen. So I Googled it, cherry blossom tree. And this is the image I found. So I downloaded it to my Cricut Design Space. And that's the image I'm going to be using for my pen. You're going to need a square. And you're going to unlock it. You're going to set the size. Which is the width is 1.500. And then the height is going to be 4.75. And that's the size of your wrap. I'm going to unlock my image. And you're going to have to stretch it. If you have a really small image, you're going to have to stretch it. You're going to have to play a little bit with it uh, and then we're going to slice. So whichever side of the image you want to slide, like if you want more of the branches, you could have picked, you, you could have put your, your square on the branches, but I don't want the branches. I just want the flowers of the tree. So I, I put my, my square on the right side. I sliced. Once you slice, you're not gonna need the square anymore and you're not gonna need the, the cutout. So this is the wrap that I'm gonna be using and it's that simple. Any, basically any image you find on Google, you can do this and voila, you have a wrap for your pen. You don't have to go and buy wraps. And I was gonna put the image by itself, but it looks simple. So uh, I I'm gonna se I'm gonna select a heart. I'm gonna size it, and I want to change the color too. I wasn't too sure of what color I wanted, but I went with the dark pink, so it matches the flowers on the tree. I'm just sizing 
I'm playing with the image and the heart and I'm gonna slice. So you gotta remember to duplicate your heart. Since I'm gonna slice it, it's gonna cut the original heart. So I want an, a replacement. So that piece you don't need. I'm gonna need the image and those two pieces of the heart you don't need. So that image goes inside the heart. Just like that. And I weld it. You don't want to weld. You want to um, attach, I believe it is. And I'm going to go to offset. And I didn't want my heart to blend with the flowers. So that's why I select offset and I use the black border. And you want to make sure that it fits on your rectangle. I keep saying square and it's a rectangle. And these wraps, if you don't put epoxy on your pen, when you wrap, it, it is going to over, how do you say, it? when you wrap it around, it is going to overlap. Your your wrap is going to go over what, the one edge over the other edge. So that's why I made sure that my heart is a little bit smaller so that when it goes, the one edge goes on top of the other one. It doesn't cover it and I was asked to put the writing forever and always so I ungrouped my letters and I'm moving them closer to each other this is the way I do it honestly guys I don't I I don't have time to look up videos to see shortcuts or how people do it I just figure stuff out on my own and this is the way I do it. I don't know any other way of doing it. And I want to make sure I'm going to I make I want to make sure that I'm going to align it. And I'm just attaching it so that when I move it around, I don't get it messed up again. Once everything is all set up and aligned, I go ahead and I weld. You want to make sure that you go and you select basic. That's a basic cut. And I'm gonna use my offset and I want my letters to be the same color as the heart and I want my offset to be black. And honestly, I don't even know the size of my words. I just eyeball it and I think that's perfect the way it is, the way it looks right now. And I'm just gonna do it like that. I go to make it and this is how I print my images or my wraps. I deselect the bleed. prefaces standard more settings and I bump it all the way up to quality okay okay and then I print I'm not gonna hit print because I already printed the image 
Right here, I'm just gonna mix my epoxy, the A and the B. And I like to use this little cup, cups because they have like um, a border line on the bottom that I use as a guide to measure. And they're way cheaper than the measuring cups that I can get from Hobby Lobby. I think I got a, a pack for $6.99 of the clear ones with the measuring lines. And you can't reuse those. Once you get the epoxy on there, you can't reuse it. So it's a waste of money. These, I think I paid like $2. And it's a whole box of these. So I like using these. And you get enough epoxy like for five pens. So every time I do epo I mix my epoxy, I make sure that I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do five at least five pens. And right here, I'm gonna cut my image. And I do cut some of the edges, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that because I like it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna cut right there on, on the sides. I like mine a little bit smaller so that when it wraps around where the clicker is, I don't get the, the wrap like sticking out. Like I, I, I don't like it. So I cut it so it fits perfect around my, my pen. And then plus the, the part of the pen is where my glitter sits. That's where I sprinkle the glitter on. I don't know, I find found that it works better for me like this. make sure you want to make sure that you start pressing and rolling at the same time especially the edges the side edges because that's where if you don't press it tight and stick it down you will get like a, a gap or space in between the wrap and the pen and you don't want that because once you put your epoxy over it you're going to be able to push it and it's gonna be more almost like an air bubble. So you wanna make sure that when you're pressing down and you're rolling at the same time tightly so that you it sticks on the pen. Here I'm just rubbing on my epoxy and I do I don't do a whole lot. Look how pretty it looks. It looks so shiny and nice. The colors really pop with the epoxy. And the colors do not run. They don't. So you don't have to seal. You don't have to seal the the wrap. If you're using printable vinyl, you don't have to seal. And I'm gonna be adding my glitter and I'm just gonna do it on the on the pen and just sprinkle a little bit on 
on the on the vinyl on the wrap just a little bit but not too much you don't want to get the glitter on your image sometimes when I do my second coat and then I start rubbing the epoxy back and forth I can I get glitter like on the image and you're gonna see at the end the rubbing back and forth did put a little bit of glitter on the guy's face but it doesn't look so bad now I'm gonna do the other edge And you do have to let sit your epoxy for 24 hours. I don't use the UV epoxy because it, it doesn't work for me. And I, I can leave it for hours under the UV light and it does not like it cures but it leaves like a tacky uh, like it still it leaves like a tackiness to the pen and I tried clean, wiping it with alcohol, nothing works. So the UV epoxy I do not use. I use the regular one and I let it sit for 24 hours until I do the next, the second coat. I'm so happy I got my finger cuts I ordered from Amazon. So I don't have to use the the whole gloves or cut out the fingers of the gloves. So now I have finger cuts. It's been 24 hours and now I'm gonna do the second coat. Honestly, it's almost smooth to the touch, but I still wanna do a second one. Just so that it, it looks completely smooth and looks nice.
and this is how my pan ended up looking i hope you guys like it thank you so much